Welcome back to Real Real Talk. This is your host, Josh Bell, and we are continuing through the most wonderful time of the year. We've been on a merry cinematic journey through our Christmas series. We have explored the heartwarming nostalgia of Meet Me in St. Louis, the timeless classic of It's a Wonderful Life, the comedic chaos of Home Alone, and the action-packed thrills of Die Hard. And now we're wrapping up our festive series with a comedy that'll have you laughing all the way to the new year, Trading Places. Our Christmas series has been a celebration of the diverse stories and genres that make the holiday season so special. From musicals to heartfelt dramas, slapstick comedies, and action-packed adventures, we have covered it all. In Trading Places, we enter the luxurious world of Philadelphia, where Louis Winthorpe III, played by Dan Aykroyd, is a wealthy commodities broker. He enjoys a life of privilege with a high-end job, a grand home, and a fiancé by his side. However, his world is about to take a dramatic and comedic turn. Enter the conniving Duke brothers, Randolph and Mortimer, played by Ralph Bellamy and Don Amici. These wealthy siblings decide to settle a wager on whether a person's life is shaped by their environment or their innate traits. To do this, they orchestrate an elaborate scheme. They frame Lewis for a crime he didn't commit, causing him to lose his job, his home, and his fiancée, who leaves him in disgrace. But the Duke's plan doesn't end there. They arrange for Lewis to be replaced with Billy Ray Valentine, a street-smart hustler portrayed by Eddie Murphy. Billy Ray is thrust into Lewis's world of privilege, complete with a high-paying job and access to the upper echelons of society. Meanwhile, the displaced Lewis finds himself on the cold, unforgiving streets of Philadelphia, struggling to survive. The film's humor arises from the stark contrast between the two characters' lives. As Lewis tries to regain his former status, Billy Ray navigates the unfamiliar world of commodities training, relying on his street smarts to succeed. As the story unfolds, Lewis and Billy Ray join forces to uncover the Duke brothers' manipulative scheme. Together, they hatch a plan of their own, setting out to get even with the conniving siblings. Trading Places is a comedy that explores the impact of nature versus nurture, class differences, and the absurdity of the situation. As the characters trade places, they discover that the circumstances of their birth don't necessarily define their worth. This film is not only a hilarious comedy, but also a film with distinct and engaging aesthetics. Director John Landis, known for his comedic sensibilities, brings a unique visual style to the movie. The film primarily takes place in the bustling city of Philadelphia, and Landis captures the essence of both its vibrant streets and the opulent, upper-class world of commodities trading. The cinematography led by Robert Painter showcases the stark contrast between these two environments. One of the key aspects of the film's aesthetics is the transformation of the characters, as Louis Winthorpe III goes from a refined gentleman to a disheveled vagabond, the changes in his appearance and demeanor are highlighted through costume design. This visual transformation adds depth to the character and humor to convey the journey. Trading Places also plays with visual juxtaposition. The contrast between Lewis's former opulence and Billy Ray's street smart style adds to the comedic elements of the story. The film's aesthetics create a visual language that reinforces the absurdity of the characters' situations. Overall, Trading Places excels in using aesthetics to enhance the comedy and storytelling. It blends the charm of city life with the extravagance of the upper class, all while highlighting the humorous elements of the plot. The film's visuals contribute to its appeal as a classic in the film comedies. Trading Places features a lively and memorable score composed by Elmer Bernstein, the music plays a role in enhancing the film's comedic elements and adding a lighthearted touch to the story. 
The score's jazzy and upbeat melodies perfectly match the film's humor and absurd situations. Elmer Bernstein's composition underscores the comedic moments, enhancing the entertainment value of the movie. Throughout the film, the music keeps the audience engaged and amused. It complements the visual storytelling and the witty dialogue, making it an enjoyable experience that's not just funny in terms of script, but also in its musical accompaniment. Elmer Bernstein's contributions to the film score is significant as it adds to the overall atmosphere and comedic tone. The score succeeds in balancing the humorous aspects of the story while supporting the film's social commentary. The score is a delightful blend of jazzy and lighthearted tunes. It enhances the film's comedic moments, making it essential to the overall movie experience. This film is a comedy with more on its mind than just laughs. Beneath the humor, it explores several significant thematic elements that add depth to the stories. One of the central themes of Trading Places is the examination of class and privilege. It cleverly contrasts the lives of Louis Winthorpe III, a wealthy commodities broker, and Billy Ray Valentine, a street smart hustler. The characters are forced to trade places, with Lewis losing everything he had and Billy Ray gaining access to wealth and privilege. The theme of class and privilege leads to a thought-provoking exploration of nature versus nurture. The film suggests that an individual's environment can significantly impact their behavior and opportunities. It challenges the idea that one's background necessarily defines their worth and character. The absurdity of the situation and the character's hilarious attempts to adapt to their new circumstances highlight another thematic element, the human capacity for resilience and adaptation. Both Lewis and Billy Ray find themselves in unfamiliar territory and must rely on their wits to navigate their new lives. In addition to these themes, Trading Places is a social comedy that takes a humorous look at the world of commodities trading. It exposes the manipulative and often ruthless practices in the industry, all while delivering laughs. Overall, Trading Places is more than just a comedy. It's a film with layers of thematic depth. It entertains while prompting viewers to reflect on social and economic issues. The impact of privilege and the adaptability of individuals in challenging circumstances. Trading Places features a remarkable ensemble cast and a talented crew that work together to create an iconic comedy. First, Dan Aykroyd portraying Louis Winthorpe III, the wealthy commodities broker whose life takes a humorous tumble. Aykroyd's performance, with his impeccable comic timing, adds depth to the character, making his transformation all the more entertaining. Eddie Murphy starring as Billy Ray Valentine, the street smart hustler who in a unexpectedly trades places with Lewis. Murphy's charismatic and witty portrayal marks a pivotal moment in his career, showcasing his versatility as an actor and comedian. Jamie Lee Curtis portraying Ophelia, a sex worker who becomes a part of the Duke Brothers' scheme. Her performance adds charm and romance to the storyline. Ralph Bellamy and Don Amici take on the roles of Randolph and Mortimer Duke, the wealthy and scheming siblings who set the plot in motion. Their dynamic performances as the conniving antagonists contribute to the film's humor. And then on the side of the crew, John Landis directs the film. Known for comedies like Animal House and the Blues Brothers, Landis brings his signature style to the film. His direction adds a unique comic touch to everything that we see. Elmer Bernstein's lively and memorable score using jazzy and upbeat compositions matched the movie's humor and the absurdity of the situations. The screenwriters Timothy Harris and Herschel Weingrad use witty and clever dialogue to combine humor and social commentary, adding depth to our characters and driving the comedic elements of the film. 
and Robert Painter on cinematography, capturing the contrast between the bustling city of Philadelphia and the opulent world of commodities trading. The visuals emphasize the thematic elements of class and privilege. With this talented cast and crew, Trading Places comes together as a comedy classic that continues to entertain and provoke thought. Each member of the team plays a vital role in creating the film's beloved characters and performances that the audience loves so much. As we know, no film is without its shortcomings, so here are a few areas where it could be seen that Trading Places falls short. First, while the film is generally well regarded for its humor, it has faced criticism for perpetuating racial stereotypes. The portrayal of the two main characters, Louis Winthorpe III and Billy Ray Valentine, have been a subject of debate. Some argue that the film leans on racial stereotypes for comedic effect, which can be uncomfortable for some viewers. Trading Places also falls into some problematic gender role stereotypes. The female characters, Ophelia and Penelope, the former fiancé, are relatively one-dimensional and primarily exist to serve the male characters' stories. This lack of depth in female characters is a common issue in many comedies of this era. The film also touches on the topic of homelessness and poverty, particularly through the character of Billy Ray Valentine. However, it tends to gloss over the real issues faced by homeless individuals. It's a missed opportunity to address the so serious social problems more thoughtfully. And the film's resolution is rather simplistic and wrapped up neatly. While it is a comedy, some viewers might find the quick and tidy conclusion a bit too convenient and some of the film's humor might not resonate as well with contemporary audiences. Comedy styles have evolved over the years, and some of the jokes and gags might come across as dated or less funny to a younger audience. But despite these shortcomings, Trading Places is to many a beloved classic. Its humor continues to entertain. But as it always is, it's important to acknowledge these issues and view the film in the context of its time. Now it's time for some trivia. Trading Places was the breakthrough film for Eddie Murphy. This was his first major role in a feature film, and his performance helped establish him as a leading actor and comedian in Hollywood. Director John Landis had previously worked with Dan Aykroyd and Jamie Lee Curtis in the film Blues Brothers, making this a reunion of sorts for them. The film's trading floor scenes were filmed on the actual floor of the New York Stock Exchange. It's a rare instance of a Hollywood production being granted access to this iconic location. The crop that is destroyed in the film's finale was a real orange crop in Florida. The production reimbursed the farmer for their losses. You might recognize the voice of the police officer in the jail scenes. It's none other than Frank Oz, the famous puppeteer and director known for his work with the Muppets and as the voice of Yoda in Star Wars. Despite not being a traditional holiday film, Trading Places has become a beloved choice for many during the Christmas season. Its themes of redemption and generosity align with the holiday spirit. And the film's plot, being based on the idea of nature versus nurture and the debate, serves as a humorous exploration of how people's environments can shape their behavior. And did you know that the film's original choice for the role of Billy Ray Valentine was Richard Pryor? However, due to Pryor's personal issues at the time, Eddie Murphy was cast and delivered a breakthrough performance. The film also pays homage to the classic novel The Prince and the Pauper, with its central theme of individuals from different backgrounds trading places. I hope these tidbits have helped offer a glimpse into the behind-the-scenes details and some cultural impact of the film, helping the combination of humor, social commentary, and memorable performances solidify its status in comedy. Mm -hmm. 
So to sum it all up, Trading Places is a hilarious and thought-provoking comedy that explores class and privilege while providing plenty of laughs along the way. With an excellent cast, engaging aesthetics, and a memorable score, it is a film that continues to entertain. And as we wrap up today's episode, we give Trading Places a solid 7.5 out of 10. We hope you enjoyed our discussion. We'd love to hear your thoughts. So reach out to us via email at therealrealtalk at gmail.com or connect with us on social media through Twitter at RealRealTalkPod and Instagram at RealRealTalk. Before we go, a quick teaser. We'll be wrapping up the year with a look at our top 10 Desert Island movie picks. Don't miss our upcoming episodes and thank you for tuning in to Real Real Talk. Until next time, keep watching, keep loving, and keep those reels rolling.